everyone. I wanted to take a few moments to go through some runner stretches with you. So whether you're a runner, a walker, or even if you've just been sitting at your computer all day, these will be great. Um, I've been getting back into running so much lately and I love it. Um, and I'm guilty for coming back from my run and getting straight into my next activity. So you're helping me today. Catch your right foot behind you. We'll start with a simple quad stretch. Point your knee down toward the opposite heel so that there's um, a hugging to the midline action, that medial uh, drawing in, and then scoop your tailbone under as you pull your shoulders back and press the back of your head back as well. So we've got that nice neutral spine. My tendency is that my knee wants to go forward to get out of the stretch. I keep pulling it back. Hold on for another breath or two. Flip it now to um, either a chair or my windowsill is what I will use for the hamstring stretch. Still on the same side, place your hands to your hips, stand nice and tall, shoulders back. Lift the torso out of the pelvis, start to hinge at the hips forward. So if you're rounding through the spine, you won't get a stretch. A stretch means that you're moving the insertion and the origin of muscle away from each other and the um, hamstrings attached to the sitting bone. So if you move your sitting bone back, that cue is to flare the sitting bones back and apart, or to move into that anterior position in the pelvis, you will get a great stretch. And it doesn't need to be much. You know, I can still be up here, and I'm actually getting a great stretch. If you're looking for mo more mobility, after 50 seconds of a static stretch, you start to communicate with the stretch receptors more, allowing uh, greater, uh, less resistance and greater stretch. So you can do that or you can do about 10 breaths of a more dynamic stretch moving forward and back. So just take another breath wherever you are. The sun's so good. My hammies are always tight. Third stretch is into the glutes. Hook the ankle just above the opposite knee. Keeping space between the thighs, same thing. Pitch the sitting bones back. Sink a little bit more into the standing heel as you sink down. You can either keep hands to hips, place hands to chest, or eventually wrap the elbow to the top of the foot. And you're really targeting the right glutes. Another breath. So that's my quick stretch for the quads, hamstrings, and glutes. Let's do it to the second side. Flip, catch the foot, point the knee toward the opposite heel, scoop the pelvis, soften the ribs, drop the shoulders, press the head, and breathe. Last breath. Get into the hamstring stretch. Foot to the windowsill or a chair. Lift the torso out of the pelvis, so up away from the pelvis, and then pitch the sitting bones back. Either working with the static hold or that more dynamic movement. And it switches from day to day what I feel like. Today I feel more static. Last breath. Come up, hook the ankle just above the opposite knee and sink it down. Either hands to hip, hands to heart, or you're wrapping the elbow to the top of that foot. Ooh, you can stay close to the wall. That's a nice support if balance is a little off today. Really targeting in through the glutes, sink a little deeper. Nice, stand it up, shake it off, and go about the rest of your day. I hope that was exactly what you needed.